yeah, I'm not putting my butt on that seat. It's not like I sit down to pee or anything, but. Okay, here we go. You want to get some clean snow. Go from over here. And you want it overflowing like this because uh, this snow is going to melt down if you have about like this much water maybe. It really looks like a lot more than it is. I'm going to have to get this fire good and going, but I think about seven or eight of those a day. It's a lot of work for a little bit of water. We're going to need to find something else. But yeah. Peaceful. Stamp it down into the snow if you need to to keep it steady. These are pretty good size, but we'll want to go even smaller. See, that's perfect. Split that apart, these little splinters make it easier to start the fire. We have a lot of little wood here. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'll keep it full for you. Oh man, it's cold. This dry wood here is probably not gonna last much longer. That wasn't very good.
I have a few matches left. There's a lighter in the camper, but I don't know how much longer that's gonna last either. We got a fire. So this is why we need to find a water source. All that snow. I mean, just a little bit of water. That tastes like a campfire. No, but, you know, I think there's worse places to spend the end of the world. What was that? Sorry. <laughs> I just had the benefit of seeing you first. I'm Lev. What, uh, what are you doing out here? I'm uh, out looking for water. You're looking for water? You can make a fire, can't you? Uh, well, yeah, I can make a fire. I just, spring's coming soon. I'm gonna need water after that, you know? Just gotta be prepared, I guess. You think too far ahead. Deal with them now. Yeah, man, well, I can't do that, so. What's with the camera? I don't remember anything about before it happened. Shoot, I can barely remember what happened yesterday. Amnesia? Uh, yeah, something like that, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Yeah. Yeah, amnesia just doesn't happen. <laughs> like, what caused it? Well, there's a spaceship hovering above my hometown, you know. Maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe. Well, let me ask you, Mr. Have to Think Ahead, what are you gonna do when the battery dies on that thing or you run out of memory? You didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> oh, man, you're funny, David. <laughs> I'm surprised you've made it this far. <laughs> I'm surprised, too, actually. But just trying to change. People don't change. People change. No, they don't. Well, that's OK, though. You know, that's, that's 
just life. You know, you gotta see the world as it is. It's a, it's a place full of liars and cheaters, you know, seeking selfish wants and needs, and you do that, and I guarantee you, you will continue to survive. I'll see you later, David. Wait, you're leaving? It's every man for himself. This is a lot of work. The nice thing about a lot of work is when it finally pays off. <laughs> really cold. It looks really clean, but oh, you can never know for sure. So I'm going to drink my canteen water here, fill it up and take it back to camp, boil it there. We'll see if I can find the, uh, the source of all this another day. You just never know what's upstream. There could be a dead animal lying up there and contaminating all this water. It looks like such good water though. I want to drink it now. Did you just lock the door? Well, yeah. I just show up screaming about how it's everyone for themselves. What was I supposed to do? Well, that's just the way it is here at the end of the world. You do realize the world is still here, right? Yeah, but 
everything that's going on. Not everything going on. We should be able to trust each other. It's time to adapt. And it's time to change. Yeah. People never truly change, lady. Sometimes you just need to see things from a different perspective. Then if you want something bad enough, you can change. My name's David, by the way. Wow. Where are you going? Where are you filming? Kind of hard to explain. You want to know it's hard? Trying to storm away from a rude man when you're nine months pregnant. <laughs> In no world would you call that a storm. A breeze, maybe. A, a nice summer breeze, though. Mind if we sit? Yeah, let's sit. Um, here, you'll, we can sit right there. Er, hold on. Let's drill for you. There you go. Where are you going to sit? Uh, we'll sit <laughs> right there. So what's with the camera? Well. <sighs> you know, sometimes those pills just create a mask to cover up the deeper problems that you should probably be facing head on. Yeah, it's just hard to face something I don't even remember, you know? You don't remember anything at all? It's getting late. I'm going to go. Are you going to be able to get back okay? Uh, what about you? Are you going to be able to get back okay? Don't worry about me, I'll, I'll be fine. What if you have the baby? The baby will come when it's meant to come. But how do you know for sure? It was nice meeting you, David. I'll see you around. So she is by far the weirdest, hottest pregnant chick I've ever seen. I don't know if that's weird. Maybe that's kind of weird. It just gives me hope. See, we got new life coming into this world. Sun is going down.
hopefully I'm fixed by the time you see it. I just don't get why they didn't finish. Fix that. <laughs> Thought you said you knew how to start a fire. It's gonna be the next thing I did, actually. Looks like you had company last night. Yeah. They came after you too, huh? Not stupid enough to be out in the woods at night, especially with them wandering around. Yeah, what are they? You know, didn't really ask the monsters what they were. <laughs> Leave that to you. Yeah, I guess I just assumed they were aliens. Such a vague term. Aliens. Yeah, it's just the lights, you know? What lights? The bright lights. You going crazy, David? There are no lights. No, I've, I've seen the lights a couple times, actually. What else are you seeing out of the ordinary? It's obvious that you're suffering from, you know, let's just say, mental-based problems. Don't get offended, David. You know, I'm being honest with you. At least you could be honest with me. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you have a prescription to help you with your anxiety. How do you know I have anxiety? Acute amnesia often occurs after a traumatic event. Most commonly while the said person is already struggling with anxiety. Well, I know a small pharmacy right outside of town. Here. I could get you what you need. How far from town? Well, it's... It's close enough that we have to be safe, but far enough away from them. Uh, that's why I'm willing to help. Oh. Hi. Hmm. I like to give the baby some sunlight. That's gorgeous. You think so? The day. I, I was talking about the day. Not that you aren't. You know, I... Ugh. You're still filming, I see. Yeah, I still don't remember anything. I do remember you. I was really hoping something would click for you. I 
heard of people coming out of mental afflictions during moments of realization. Especially those that were triggered by an emotional event. Like what we've all been through. Yeah. My pills are really the only thing that's ever worked for me. Well, you don't have any. It's the thing, so... I met someone yesterday besides you. Really? I did, yeah. Around here? Uh, yeah. I'm... He actually knows where I can get some of my meds to help me. I don't think that's such a good idea, David. Why not? Because it's a temporary fix. What happens when you run out again? I'll just get some more. Okay, so what happens when you can't get more? What is your problem with me taking medicine? Well, I'm coming to a point where I'm going to need someone that I can trust. And I lost trust for that kind of fix a long time ago. You can trust me. I feel like I can too. Mostly because there's no other options. Yeah, I guess it's kind of slim pickings, huh? <laughs> but you also have kind eyes. I'm gonna go rest back in my camp. What? No, I... Why don't you let me take you? No, I'll be fine. Seriously, well, what, what about the creatures in the woods? Then? The creatures? You mean the light? So you do see them? Of course I see them. I'll see you around, David. Anna? I'm fine. Anna. I'm gonna tell him no thanks. Don't tell him about me. Why? David. Trust me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Should actually probably get the uh, that hole fixed on the other side. If I want any chance of staying warm tonight. It's a little better.
This is scary, dude. Yeah. Finally, man, let's go. Hey, listen, okay? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? What happened? Nothing. Why did you change your mind? That's not a reason. Look, I'm here to help you, but you, you gotta let me. That's the thing. I don't know if I need your help. I feel great today. I understand if you're scared. You should be. There, there's monsters in these woods. Yeah, but I'm not scared. I just changed my mind, that's all. Yeah, right. I did. Am I the only one that you've seen out here? Who is it? It's no one, okay? Just drop it. Is she pretty? How do you know it's a she? Is she into you? It's kind of hard to tell, actually, she's pregnant. Surviving in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. All by herself? Yeah. <laughs> Show me. Well, I can't. I promise not to tell anybody about her. So you seem different. And I knew something was up with you. Okay, you know what? Let's just drop it, okay? David, 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 David. Oh, what? Don't you see what's happening? No, I don't. What? There's no woman. No, she's real. <laughs> David, you have to watch a video every single morning because you can't remember what happened the day before. Heck, you talk to yourself more than anyone I have ever met. Okay, now you're starting to piss me off because I know what's real and I know what's not. You know for sure? Yeah, I know for sure. Show me proof. Okay, you want to you wanna see proof? Mm-hmm. All right, here. What are you doing? She was here, so there should be a footprint. Female footprint, smaller. You've already wasted enough of my time. And I'm not even in the mood anymore. David. David! What? Tomorrow morning, if you want to know for sure, I'll be here one more time.
I don't know what's real and what's not. I mean, you, are you even real? are freezing. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. No? <laughs> David, you are an amazing man. I told him about you. What? I told him about you. The one that you, you specifically said, don't tell him about me. And I did. You just need to calm down. You know what? I would love to calm down, but my pills are the only thing that helps me, and you think taking them is wrong. I, I didn't say that. Just because you didn't use those exact words, doesn't mean you didn't say that. So do whatever you think is best. My medicine is what's best. I've said that before. Okay, so go get it. I'll be here waiting for you when you get back. Why do you talk to me like that? You, you, you can't be real. David, that man has messed with your head. You both have messed with my head. She has no idea what it's like to be me. She has no idea how to help me. But, Lev does. He even came, came to my camp to tell me about it yesterday. Or the day before. Or no, 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 it was this morning. He came. He came this morning.
Cheeseburgers you ate? Hey, I had one burger, okay? No cheese. All right, David. I'm gonna gift it with something. You know, it's like a look from a from a different perspective. Come on. All right, if I would have known what I know now about Anna and I, there would have been a lot short of relationships. But... I know that you want to go out for your birthday. David, do you remember what happened last time? He abandoned you at his camper in the middle of nowhere, and he took your truck. It wasn't that far of a walk back to town anyways. It was fine. <sighs> he spent all day making fat jokes about me. <laughs> jokes? Yeah, but they weren't funny jokes. Yeah, they're funny either. Come on. Yeah, come on, Anna. We'll pull to the drive-thru and get, you know, grab you another burger with no cheese. It's just on the way home. Isn't that, how does that sound? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, meet me outside. What? Meet me outside. Like two minutes? Meet me downstairs outside. Two minutes. Okay, cool. Slobby pants. This doesn't bother me, actually. Well, I'm even surprised if Annie, she was picky when she was in my car. I don't know why she's not thinking about your messy hair. What kind of present did she give you? Was it a present or a present present? <laughs> We almost there. We're here now. So, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I thought you didn't talk to yourself anymore. It's getting late, man. Have a good night. Hey, the night is just starting. Is that Anna on the phone? I'm not even on the phone, okay? <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm sorry, you know, I keep on bringing up Anna. You know, I, I just really hope I'm not making it weird, you know? Well, yeah, you know, it's just like her dad, you know, meant a lot to me, you know? It's, you know, he was, he was there when, you know, when my dad wasn't. He was always here, drinking, drunk, whatever, you know? Her dad was always there for me. I just... yeah, he's a good guy, huh? Her and I were we were we were a good thing. You know, that's what I wanted. You know, for us to you know be like a family. And her dad was like like the like the anchor and he had the, he had this knife and it was his pride and joy, razor sharp, like all the time. Like he, he used it to get splinters out. He used it to, to sharpen a hot dog stick. Man, he could like shave with that thing, skin a rabbit, all that. And I just, 
you know, I, I just, I just, I just thought that I, I was gonna get that one day. Like he was, like it was mine. Like he wanted to give it to me. And yeah, he, he loved his knives, huh? He had a lot of them. What did, what did Anna, what did, what she give you at the house? What, what she said it was her dad's. Ooh. What was that? But, you know, she gave me a knife. She did give me a knife. It wasn't the same one, though. Can I, can I see it? Dude, please, come on. Let me, let me see it. Let me see it. That's the one. <laughs> Can I have it back now? Yeah. She chose you. What, what am I? Not good enough? Lev, can I you have- No, it's, it's razor sharp. Can I have my knife back? Yeah. Thank you. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. No, 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 no. It's a gift for you, David. It's yours. Take it. Just take it. Take it. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> What is that? 